Now this unit's already been calibrated according to the directions and we've already gone ahead and warmed it up and and gotten it uh, leveled and everything like of this nature. So shooters out there, now we're going to try the Hercules or Alliant 2400 powder. Let's go ahead and use a charge of 22 grains of 2400 powder. Twenty-two grains of twenty-four hundred powder is a magnum forty-four magnum load. So we're gonna go ahead and charge about eighty-five cases using this unit. So now we're gonna set twenty-two grains for the chosen charge. Put that into the memory, and then we're going to set the speed for slow. And now we're going to go ahead and, and press dispense. So the scale zeroes itself and then it starts to dispense the charge. Now it starts slowing down at the end and there's 22.0 grains. 22 grains is a maximum charge for 2400 powder in the 44 Magnum, but we can certainly trust this unit to do a nice job dispensing the powder, as you see. We go ahead and put that charge into our cartridge case. And do the next charge. Once again, the machine zeroes itself. Slows down and gets to 22.0 and the one beep means that you've got a good charge. So you can see here, we've got 85 charged 44 Magnum cases. So shooters, we loaded 85 rounds of these maximum loads of 2400 powder. That's 22 grains of 2400 powder with a 240 grain jacketed hollow point bullets. So shooters, let's give the Hornady automatic powder dispenser more of a test. We'll go into my 40 years of accumulated reloading data and look up some of the other powders that I like to use, such as Winchester Western 748 and some of the favorite loads of that and see how the dispenser does with those other powders. So let's see how the Hornady powder dispenser dispenses Winchester Western ball powder 748 and specifically the 223 a favorite load is 26.2 grains of 748 powders. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's the 748 in the hopper. We'll plug in 26.2 grains. Load that into the target. Press dispense. It's on normal speed. Well, that went over. Let's put that on slower speed. Let it re zero itself and throw another charge. There it goes. twenty six point two. So
So suppose I just went ahead and put that into a cartridge case. Now we'll do another one. Bullseye. And there it goes. Kind of reminds me of my high power days loading up for the 223 for my Colt Comp. There's 26.2. One more time. There you go. So it's very accurately reliable for using ball powder like 748 Winchester. So I'm all set for my 223. If I want to go ahead and use this unit for that and I think I might very well do that. So shooters, here's a good test, and that is Reloader 12 powder, which is short little sticks. Not the longer sticks like 4831, but shorter sticks. So you, you could say these are shortcut, one of the original shortcut powders. But anyway, this is a great powder for the six millimeter Remington. And my favorite load is 43.4 grains of Reloader 12. So let's go ahead and punch that in. So 43.4 grains. Enter that into the target. And then... Hit the spence. Now notice these are my favorite loads. The bullet that I'm using I'm not telling you because these loads are for my rifle only and maybe not good for yours. 43 point, ah, it went over. Aha, so let's see what's going on here. We'll let it run another charge. Oh, we got on normal speed. We got to put it back on slow speed. So this will probably go over again. Yep, two beeps is over. Okay, we have it on slow speed now. There it is, 43.4. So let's do another test, another charge. That one went over. And let's do another one. And that time I got it. So two out of three. Let's do one more. And slow down. Not bad. Three good charges off four. So 
it likes to do Reloader 12. That's good news. So let's go ahead and we have a 56.0 charge. Let's go ahead and let it do another one. And slow down. Another good charge. Now, if a little bit of powder gets on that red base scale, it doesn't matter because the machine re-zeroes itself to what's in the pen. Slow down. Another good charge. I'm pleasantly surprised because we're getting good charges now with this little modification of the soda straw in there. Without the soda straw, it goes over every time with these stick powders. And slow down. Oh, it, it just cascaded that last little bit. That's the problem with these stick powders because it'll get close to the charge at once and then it adds a little more, but then it, instead of getting one grain, it, it made three or four grains fall through a cascade at the end and that throws it over. Slow down. Ah, it just, just did the same thing. It went over, over by one tenth. So let's, let's see if it'll do a good one this time. And slow down. There it is. Good one. Slow down and there it is. So you see this uh, unit is working out pretty well even with the stick powder. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, machine. Look forward to using it to, to reload a lot of calibers and a lot of different powders. Bye for now.